talk about how the spring's gone for you? Uh, spring's coming along. Uh, it's definitely a little different than last year, uh, especially for a guy like myself, trying to get back into the whole football mode. Uh, it's a fast pace. A lot of guys just got to get in shape, so mm -hmm. that's all. It's been like with such a few numbers that you position. Obviously, it's a great opportunity. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, it's an opportunity that each guy in my position is taking advantage of. We're all working because we know we're going to need each other. Uh, we know we're going to need each other to uh, show up every day, um, play hard, play for each other because we're all going to pretty much need to be on the field. So, like I said, would it been a fast-paced offense? You know, it's, it's actually fine. So. Did you uh... – did you expect it to take a while when you came, having been out of the way for a while? I did. I did, and that's why that, that first year um, coming in and, and, and working out, actually working out with Coach Russell my first year here before he left uh, was really big for me. Um, my, my body made a complete 360. Um, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I feel a whole lot better now, um, even than I did when I was playing football back in high school days. Um, I feel like I'm more mature. Uh, physically, and you know, so is it good enough. being older? Is it maybe a little easier for you to be a little more patient than some of these guys? You've, you've uh, seen a lot. Patience, yeah. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say I'm old, but I am older, so um, maybe an adjustment that I am starting to. Um, that's a little bit different now. Is is not having as much energy as I did um, when I was 18, and you know, watching things like simple as like my diet. You know, I can't. Can do some things I used to do then, and expect to play up to the level that I need to. Now, how far into the baseball thing did you start realizing that you missed football? From day one. I mean, I, I, of course, I took baseball. It was an opportunity. I loved it. I played it my whole life. It was the first sport I ever played. Um, follow I mean, my dad and my brother, and it was something I loved. But uh, once I started football around tenth grade, I, uh, I realized that was a sport that physically was probably better for me overall. It was something I enjoyed doing, and I wasn't doing it that. I felt like I was playing for it because I loved it. Baseball was something that was just a part of me. Melvin, with this offense, do the wide receivers have to be in better shape than anybody else oh, in the yeah, field? Definitely. Um, and, you know, I, and I'm sure every position, every guy on the field is saying that they, they need to be in great shape, blah, 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 blah. But as a wide receiver, um, and I feel like as a wide receiver on any football team, you need to be in top notch shape. Whether you're the top best shape on the team, but you need to be in that category. It's just one of the guys that can run all day long. That's all we do. We run. Run and block all day. So. What are some of the points of emphasis Coach Craig has with you guys right now, this part of practice? Uh, first of all, being physical. Uh, we have a lot of receivers that are um, actually big guys. So being physical, first of all. And, and concentrating and focus when we're tired. Because we, we are, get, we, we, you know, you're going to get tired as a wide receiver in this offense. You're going to get tired. So being able to concentrate and focus, you know, through adversity and, and being fatigued, that's his biggest. Are you trying to work more on the slot or you trying to work more outside? Where do you see yourself kind of fitting in? Wherever he puts us. I mean, like I said, we only have 10 guys. Um, and we've been doing a lot of switching over the last week or so. Um, so it's not necessarily set yet. And, and I think he's, he's doing that because we're, we're going to need guys to play multiple spots. And, and it's, it's only an advantage for us to, to learn and know multiple positions because, like I said, uh, at the end of the day, come Saturday, you don't know where you're going to go. So as of right now, I, I wouldn't be able to know if I'm in a slide or on the outside. But. No, now, you're technically a walk-on. Mm -hmm. The Dodgers are just going to pay for you the whole way through. Is that how it works? Um, that's been the deal so far, um, even myself. I'm, I'm working my way to um, to having a good spring in Coach Malzahn's eyes, to where um, he decides to put me on the scholarship. Play. So that's my main focus right now to make sure um, I give my, myself an opportunity to get a scholarship. But until that day, yeah, Dodgers is taking care of me. Is this a really good opportunity for you, new coaching staff, uh, offense, <coughs> using a lot of receivers? Um, it is. Um, like I said, it's it's. We have such a bond in our, in our receiver room that everything is so competitive, but at the same time we push each other and we want each other to do good. You know, it's, it's not it's not necessarily, in a lot of cases you got guys on teams that um, they fight for positions to the point where they turn themselves into enemies to each other. We need each other out there because like I said, we, we're not that deep at our position and we all want it so bad and we need each other, honestly.